to Spray and welcome to a brand new edition of MFIS TV where we help you build, sustain, and grow wealth. Now, many of you guys have questions about what you should do with your old retirement accounts, such as 401k plan, 403b, 457. Well, tonight we're going to give you tips and ideas on what you should do with that old 401k plan, as many of you guys have been asking me to answer for you. So here's a few things. One thing, you can keep it at your current employer. But my saying is always this, if they're not good enough for you to work there, they're not good enough to keep your money. So I usually don't recommend people keeping their money there. Plus the cons of it is this. One thing is they might have limited uh, options for you. And remember with limited options, those options might not be benefiting towards you and your portfolio on how you want to build, sustain, and grow wealth. Also, they might have higher fees than your usual other options. Your option number two is you can roll over that money into your 401k plan at your current employer. Now, the great thing about that is this. With, your, with this plan, now the money is rolled over, it's now growing with your other 401k plan. But you have the same problem with that money, which is this. If that company 401k plan is not designed for you because they only have a couple of options, 8 to 16 options, and you're a little bit more conservative or a little bit too aggressive or you don't like the fees involved with it, you can only do those options which kind of holds you back. Number three, you can roll over that I to an individual retirement account or an IRA. Now the great thing about doing that is this, the world is wide open for you. So if you ever want to roll over that money to that account, you could do say more conservative you want to, you could be as aggressive as possible. So you have so many different options and you can work with a company or investments that you do like. Fourth option, you can roll it over to a Roth IRA. Now the great thing about Roth IRAs compared to all the other plans is now that money when you find ticket out after 59 and a half, it's going to be all tax free. And everybody knows I love this. Everything to be tax free. Now the con of this is this, is that if you blow 59 and a half and roll that money, you're going to have to pay taxes on that money because you never paid taxes before. And that money cannot be pulled out of your retirement account because you're less than 59 and a half. So it's going to have to come out of your own savings. A, you can bump you up at a higher tax rate. So when you do something like this, you really need to talk to your financial advisor and CPA to make sure that you're putting yourself down in a higher tax bracket that year. And also, you want to make sure that you are liquid to pay those taxes. Now, your last option, which I tell people, please do not, do not, do not, do not, new, is to cash out your old retirement account. If you both do not have. You're wondering why you say that, Jason. Because once you do that, you have to pay so many taxes and penalties. You have to pay your federal income taxes, state income taxes. And you're in California, Lord, because Lord how knows us. We're at 10%. You have your federal penalty for it. You have your state penalty. And it can boost you up in a higher tax bracket. So almost half your money can be taxed. And we hate for that to do, especially when we're trying to build, sustain, and grow well. Now, if you have any other questions, make sure you write down the notes on our YouTube and make sure to click on the subscribe button. Anyways, hope you guys all have a good night. And remember, we are here to help you build, sustain, and grow wealth.